it is a guy with a tattoo working out right next to you, Mark. <laughs> Get in there, Mark. I, excuse me, I'm sorry. I thought only chicks had tattoos like that. The, 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 right? Oh! Oh! I thought it was, uh, like, only chicks have that. You know, <laughs> carry on with the conversation. I'm gonna be... Oh my gosh, so awkward, so awesome, all, all of the things, right? That was a clip from Impractical Jokers on True TV. James Mur Murray is one of the guys making us laugh with some of the most outrageous pranks we have ever seen. This weekend, we have the chance to see him live in Houston at the Improv. Murr is joining us live now on the show. Murr, dude, I'm telling you, you are probably the bravest person I think I've ever met. When you go into these pranks, do you have to kind of like psych yourself up? How do you do it? I, I just try very hard not to get my butt whooped, you know what I mean? Like, my, my goal is just not to get punched in the face. Everything else is just collateral damage. So I'm, I'm trying very, very hard. I, I don't. Luckily, I don't have a punchable face. I look like the kind of, I look like your pharmacist. I don't look like a tough guy, you know what I'm saying? A punchable face, that you do not have, I would agree. So listen, we've seen you on Impractical Jokers, and you guys are, are just so funny. And what a lot of people might not realize, you are a writer, executive producer, an actor. You have done so many things. You worked as a senior vice president of development for North South Productions for more than 10 years. I mean, talk to us a little bit about when in life you realized you had this gift of creativity and the ability to make people laugh? Uh, I realized it uh, uh, probably about a, a month and a half ago is when I finally felt like I had made it, even though the show's been on 11 years now. I, I feel like I it was about a month or two ago where I finally was like, you know, maybe this is working out. I uh, know, you know, the, the guys and I from Jokers have been friends our whole life. We always dreamed of doing this, but we failed for like 11 years before we got on TV. Uh, so now to be in shooting season 10 coming up, uh, every day has been a, a blessing, and I'm glad I'm part of people's families, you know? Well, I think it's incredible. You only recently realized what a big deal you are, and thank you for all the laughs, <laughs> laughs over the years. Please send our best to all the guys. You have five published titles and four more books on the way. International best-selling author. What are the new books about? Uh, the, the, gosh, my laptop is propped up on one right now. The, the Stowaway just came out a few months ago. That is a about a serial killer on a transatlantic cruise. And there's only one woman on board who can stop him. It's a great mystery thriller. Uh, we have a, a children's, a middle grade children's book series coming out from Penguin Random House in a month and a half called Area 51 Interns. It's about a group of kids who uh, get a summer internship at Area 51. And the day they start work, all hell breaks loose. And it's up to the kids to save the day every single book at Area 51. It's a great, thrilling, funny read for kids. Uh, that comes out in just a few weeks. Okay, fantastic. Congrats on the books. By the way, uh, Nicholas Cage, I can't believe I haven't asked you about this so far. He's uh, he, he, he's very quiet. I, I don't like to name drop. We're, we're, we're buddies, we're pals. He, he pops in and out to interviews from time to time. He might be there this weekend in Houston and Dallas on Saturday, Sunday. He might show up at the show. You never know. You don't know who's going to show up at Mer Live. So, and it's a family-friendly show, so bring the entire family, all ages. And who knows? You might have a celebrity sighting or two. Okay, we love surprises. And he, Nicholas Cage, he's doing a very good job at supervising yeah. this interview right now. Thank you, Mr. Cage. Yeah. Let's talk about the tour. So, when you're not at home with your wife in New Jersey and your cute little pup Penny, uh, you're on mm -hmm. tour. So, essentially, you travel the world making people laugh. I know people are so thrilled and pumped to see you in Houston this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the tour is great. It's Mer Live. It's all ages. Uh, kids can come, everything like that. Uh, it's a combination of telling stories from impractical drivers. I answer some fan questions. I borrow a couple of audience members' cell phones at one point, and I might text people on your behalf. I shot hidden camera challenges just for the live show that you can't see anywhere else. And if you're very, very, very lucky, I might even show uh, my driver's license photo, which still to this day has no eyebrows on it because oh. of the TV show. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, well, that's a good yeah. look. That is a good look. <laughs> I think you take the cake for best driver license photos uh, I've ever seen. We're gonna put the, the, the details up on the screen so people can buy tickets. I know there are just a few tickets left for this weekend. Again, family friendly. Before I let you go though, has there ever been a time or when you just couldn't do it? When the guys have gotten in your ear and they've said, okay, do this, do that, say this, and, <laughs> and you couldn't bring yourself?
to it. The, the closest I came to rejection was uh, they threw me out of an airplane against my will. They go skydiving. I'm terrified of it. And I was so scared. I ran off set. I locked myself in the bathroom for a half hour crying. I wouldn't come out. And from the bathroom, I FaceTimed my mother to say goodbye and I love her because oh. I thought that was the end of me. And my mother rejected the call because she was shopping at Macy's at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad that you had the opportunity to call her once again after that experience. James Murray, it is so nice to meet you, and uh, you are just as real as they come. So thanks for making us laugh, and congrats on all thanks your success. I appreciate it. We'll see you very soon. And in the meantime, to our viewers, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, for a link to get those tickets to Murr Live. Once again, it is happening Saturday at the Houston Improv.